Hi, Dennis. How are you? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. How was your yesterday's meeting work? Um, no, miss. No? You were? No. Yes. Okay. So, how was your day today? Uh, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Continue or the meeting mm -hmm. or donation is, is or strategy, is strategy and donation is the se dice es como the project mm -hmm. on the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five years. Okay. And mm -hmm. yesterday you were in a meeting too, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's tiring your work. Yes. Okay. The, fini the finishes on the meeting on then the mirror. Mm -hmm. Then on then a half. Uh, okay. So here it uh, was raining some hours ago. What about there? Was raining? Raining? Uh huh. For the work? Uh huh. Um. No. No. No raining. No. Okay. Here it was raining like an hour ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are about to start tonight's class. Did you finish the midterm exams? Um, no, the next the class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next class yeah. <laughs> or tomorrow? <laughs> no, uh, right now. Okay, you are relaxed. Yeah. Okay. And to Tomorrow uh, I go to the, the beach. Tomorrow you go to the beach? Yeah. Okay, that's a good option, you know. <laughs> okay, and Karina will go to the beach too, I guess. No, no. tomorrow I, I will have an uh, Excel class. class. Uh, okay, Virtual the morning. Class. Sorry? Virtual classes. Yeah. Okay. That's it's a four class. <laughs> okay, that's a good option. Okay. Oscar, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Edwin, hello. Okay, he's maybe working. Katia, hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too. Good to see you here. Thank you. Okay, so we are about to start and well, but before tell me guys, uh, besides Danny, uh, have you done the quizzes? Have you done the quizzes? Um, have you done the quizzes? Yes, teacher. Okay, because we are going to, well, I'm going to pass the quizzes this coming, what? Saturday, I have to pass the grades. Okay, I have to pass the grades. So you, you have to make those, you have to do those quizzes. The quizzes, the homework, in the forms, okay? Okay. So let me see one thing here. <clears throat> Tonight, Karina will stay with me at the end. Okay, teacher.
I'm going to remove that one. Okay, it's better. Okay, um, we are going to start. Let's see, uh, Alfonso is not here yet, right? And Nancy neither, Carmen neither. It's only Danis, right? Danis, uh, yeah. Karina, Karina, Oscar. Who is the other one? Edwin. Present. Edwin, Oscar, Cesar Heriberto, and Claudia Lorena. Okay, today is Friday, you know, and your classmates know it. Okay. It's Friday. But, yes, thank God today is Friday. But thank you for being here on time. We are about to start right now. And for today, we have a, a review. The review of unit number two in practice, okay? This is what we have for today. The review of unit number two in practice. So I hope guys that when we have the breakup rooms, you take your time to practice because I have noticed that in most of the cases, some students don't join the breakup rooms. They stay with the microphone off and with the camera off. I don't know why. So the idea here of this space is for you to practice, okay? is for you to practice and to um, share things with your classmates, yes? So um, we are going to go on the first activity that is recalling the previous knowledge. Let's see how much you remember from yesterday's class. Uh, let's see, I'm going to ask someone who was here the last class. Karina, you will help me. Can you tell me, uh, can you read the question and can you give me the answer, please? Okay. When do I use it is not allowed? Uh, is when you give uh, like a rules? Rules, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. For example, um, it is not allowed to drink alcohol beverage during mm -hmm. the work. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, it is not allowed to sleeping sleep to sleep. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, in work hours. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Karina. That's it about it's not allowed. Okay, it's not allowed. Sorry, I have here a mistake. That it's it's not allowed. Like this, it's not allowed. Yes, it's like that. It's not allowed. Give examples. Yes. Uh, so in number two, let's see, Edwin, you were here in the last class. Can you help me with the number two, please? Okay, teacher. Read, verdad? Yes, number two. Okay. Is it correct to mention in the workplace what is allowed and what is not and why? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, is rule in the work is It's better climate uh, with uh, people. Yeah. And... I'm sorry, teacher. Don't worry, it's okay. It's just to get a good environment. You're trying to say that. It's for getting a good environment, right? Para obtener un buen ambiente. Yeah. Uh -huh. For that reason, it's okay in your case to mention the things that are allowed and the things that aren't allowed, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's see, uh, Katia. Katia, can you please uh, tell me your opinion about the question number two? 
Do you consider it's okay to mention the rules at the beginning of the work? I think that it's correct because uh, the co-workers and the employers not break our rooms, no uh, rules. Okay, okay, it's good, right? Thank you, Katia. Oscar, okay. can you help me with number three, please? Okay. What one point you consider really important not to be allowed in companies, but they are allowed? What's the mean allowed? Allowed. Karina, what it means allowed? Allowed. It's permitido. Okay. Permitido and no permitido, right? And no permitido. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So what is one point? What is one situation, Oscar? Some companies allow to, uh, to have in their companies, but maybe they aren't. Mm, I, I don't know if, if the example is correct about this. Mm -hmm. Tell me the example. The sentence. Uh, in many companies, uh, you can wear uh, how you prefer. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in another company, not. They have uh, rules for the wear. Okay. Can you be more specific? For example, I'm going to help you. Um, one point, one thing that it's really important not to be allowed is the use of cell phones. It's an example, uh, the yes, use of I, cell phones. But yes, in some it. companies, people, the, the employees can have the cell phone. Yes, for example, mm -hmm. in, yeah. the, in the call center mm -hmm. or um, production plants, for example, a, you can't use the cell phone mm -hmm. but for example in my company the cell phone is the is the first the first it, tool it's it, it the first tool yes okay uh -huh. so in your opinion is there any other point that shouldn't be allowed but it's allowed in the companies oh uh, i mean okay for example it, no no, allow, 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 no, no allow, allow uh, relationship in employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that is a good point. Imagine yeah. in the lunch time, the boyfriend and the girlfriend having lunch together. <laughs> yes, or does it happen? <laughs> kissing, <laughs> kissing each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. and okay. all the people all the people talk about your problems yes uh -huh. much problem uh -huh. imagine that you fight in front of your co-workers then you are going to be a, a trending topic right in front of them so yeah. that is that is something important okay thank you yeah. and number four let me ask Somebody else, Lourdes, welcome to the jungle. We were waiting for you. I'm sorry for arriving late. Okay, don't worry. Can you help me with number four, please? Of course. What's your opinion about what some call center industries or industries apply to their employees? leave the cell phone in the entrance of the building mm -hmm. <sighs> and some call centers uh, apply uh, the the employees don't um, entrance full to 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 workplace because in in that place uh, is not allowed it 
while uh, work uh, the employees. Okay. So thank you, thank you, lower this. Do we have any other opinion? What do you think about that, guys? Leaving the cell phone in the entrance of the building of your workplace. Karina? Okay, um, in call center, for example, it is not allowed to use cell phone because it's, it is not, you don't have a permission to cap information about a client, a customer, mm -hmm. a customers, or for example, you, you, uh, it is not allowed to be distraction mm -hmm. and to record information. They have up invited um, politics, mm -hmm. okay. privacy politics. So okay, okay, privacy politics. Privacy. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. So, good evening, Anayansi. Yes. I have no internet. Oh, you changed. Uh, uh, now, hasta ahorita. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. So, as you can see, guys, uh, we have pointed out some aspects that we were taking. Uh, that we were considering in the last class. For the people who weren't here, I hope that you can have your chance and watch the yesterday's class. It's already uploaded on YouTube. So make sure that you check that before you take the quiz, that it's a, about it's not allowed, how to use it's not allowed. That was the topic for the last class. All right. Uh, right now, we are going to have a, a set of activities, but as, as the first activity, we are going to do the following. Uh, let me see. Um, I'm going to ask, Luis, can you help me reading the instructions, please? Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Instructions, number one. In groups, read aloud the following article Book page 27. Number two, read again to check the correct pronuncia pronunciation in the groups. Number three, make a vocabulary list of words you don't know in your netbooks. Reading a short definition but, English, but in English, you can get a synonym. 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 Number, number four, Complete the exercise. Thank you, Luis. You're very kind. So uh, we are going to be working on this, page 27. If you have your student's book, you can take it out. If you don't, uh, make sure that you have the screenshot of this. So um, let's see. We are going to read one time together just for you to check the pronunciation and then you are going to go to the breakup rooms. That is the step number two. You go on the breakup rooms and you prepare something like a glossary, you know, a list of words that you don't understand on this. So before you go on that, I want to make sure that you have clear the pronunciation of the words. So let's read. I'm going to, I'm going to start. Just pay attention. Okay, number one. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be fooled that assumes people know what you mean. Uh, well, most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not my readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry, acronyms, uh, to who, uh, to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, 
be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Driven in maple cider, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation. And especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions, that would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Three, give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. Mm -hmm. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. Mm -hmm. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed considered to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have a serious implications in any business or project. Number four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially, especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what is you mean and want. Okay, so this is the, regarding the pronunciation. And here we are taking into account some points that you uh, can do in the company and some points that maybe you cannot do in your company. All right, but that is that is a thing that we are going to be discussing in groups. Uh, I don't know if you took the, the screenshot before we continue, or you have it ready, page 27. Okay, and okay, you read the article. You prepare the glossary, the list of words that you don't know. Then you, you have this exercise, true or false, all right? You answer this and you uh, come back later. And I'm going to ask for the answers when you're ready. Is that clear or do you have any question? It's clear. It's clear. Clear like the water or clear like the horchata? <laughs> I like the water, teacher. Like the water. Okay. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> okay. Coffee. Coffee <laughs> okay, give me a second. I'm going to open the breakup rooms and we are going to work. Okay, let's go. And remember to speak in English. Try to do this activity in English, okay? Because today we are in the middle of the course. So that means two more weeks and this is over. So you go on to the next level and, well, almost intermediate level. All right. All right. So let's do it.
and switch on, they are not main readers. An imperative when leaving clear instruction is to not assume the recipe knows what you mean. And this can Star rule. Okay. Two. Okay. Okay. Don't assume the now what you mean. What do you mean? You know what uh, they say? That assumption in the model of, of a mistake. Don't be afraid that assume. People know what you mean, which most people in your office or business, business will be empty and switch. switch they are not mean reader, um, imperative when delivering clear instruction, instruction is to not assume ever, no? assume. I think it's a assume. The under uh, the receiving receipt receipt now what do you mean? And this came before anything from industry equipment yeah. to work the contact in different department or organization it will only take you a few seconds more to play the tie. Okay. Okay. Number two. Uh, if you want me. Okay. Okay. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Dripping in maple syrup, please. But not only like waffle in conversation and especially not in in an email or when it is set an instruction. Will you don't want to rebel in your set of instruction that will be a waste all your time and to be honest, date, date, a switch off after a while. You don't want to sure what your sorry. Do you want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and consistent? Be clear, specific. Hello, Anayansi. Hello, me quedé sola. <laughs> Also, are you there? Be there. Let me let me check here. Let me check. You're going to work with Katia and Oscar, okay? Pero verdad que solo era de de, de leer eh, lo que estaba en la página 27. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it, it's uh, true. Oscar, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, Anayansi, Anayansi is going to work with you and Katia, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Anayansi. And you have the, the page 27. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The number two is it's true. True. Yes. Number three. 
people will get confused with the direction if we use too many words. People will get confused with, with the direction if we use too many words. The directions. Okay. Num number three. I'll continue. Do not do not confuse members by not being is eso lo último está bien dice it will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details que siempre eh, es bueno tomar unos pocos segundos para explicar los detalles man. y así no se presta uno a, a las suposiciones okay. vamos uh -huh. a tomar los dos uh -huh. not because that assumption is the model of uh -huh. it will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details assumption okay. is the mother of all mistakes uh -huh. como la madre de los errores uh -huh. vamos con el segundo ok I'm going to send you to another breakup room, Fidel, because I see you are alone. In one. Do you have any question, guys, I about think. the vocabulary? You you read it. You you read it. Yeah. We finish. Oh, you finished the reading. Okay. Yes. And what about the vocabulary that I asked you to take out from this? Oh, I think it's fine. Yes, <laughs> uh, you, need, you need to prepare a glossary, remember? Glossary. Like a glossary. Yes. Something like yeah. a glossary. A list. Okay. Uh, Just a example, list with the meaning? Or. Yes. Okay. For example, uh, you can say, uh, teacher, I don't know what is the word assume, assume, okay? Uh, assume, mm -hmm. assume or assumption, okay? And you write a, a definition, but in English. Yes. Assume is thinking, thinking or believing. Those are synonyms. Thinking, or comma, thinking. believe, okay? Yes, asumir, okay? So think or believe, those are synonyms for okay. assume. Okay. Okay, so th that is the list that I want. Okay, but I don't know how many words do you have there. I can help you if you, if you tell me which are the words. Mm -hmm. uh, the, in the second paragraph, Mm -hmm. On the second line at the end, will oh, will it's like while, while, mm -hmm. mientras, mientras que, why? Pero lo vamos a poner en inglés un synonym. Un synonym for for wills is while, w h i l e. Willy, Willy, no sé si han visto esa, uh -huh, esa, esa palabra, while. Well, well. And the meaning is mientras. Mientras que, in Spanish es mientras que. No. Uh -huh. But you need a, a, a synonym in English. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And I guess that there is, uh -huh. ah, yeah, it's only that one. Do you have any other? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Rider glossary? No, uh, what you can do is this, look. You say, Danis, take out the words for paragraph number one. Karina, take out the words for paragraph number two. Dolores, number three. And, and who is the other person? Nelson. Nelson, number four. Yeah. Okay. And you prepare the list and then you make only one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that, that can be it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then you share. Okay. ¿En qué necesitamos accionar? You need to act. You need to act. <laughs> Why you need to do that? Es que estamos leyendo el párrafo tal cual. Ah, no, but don't translate. Just no. Don't identify the words that you don't understand. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you an idea, better said. Eh, eh, nosotros, uh -huh. Tell me. perdón, nosotros estábamos suponiendo en, en donde dice, I prefer not to bother it up, que es como que prefiere no meterse en problemas. No, prefiero, no? prefiero no, este, como halagar, halagar. Oh. Okay. Uh, o sea, porque aquí estamos hablando de be clear en specific, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Be clear en specific. Uh -huh. O sea, yo voy a ser clara, específica y concisa. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? No hay que como eh, darle muchas vueltas al, al asunto, ¿verdad? De que ya solo para caer bien yo voy a empezar a halagar a los coworkers y así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A eso se refiere. Es un, es un phrasal verb. Uh -huh. But it it up. But it uh -huh. up. Uh -huh. But it up. Uh -huh. eh, Entonces es como no pre prefiero no halagar. Uh -huh. No halagar, oh, okay. no halagar. Prefiero no halagar. No en B es en go straight to the point e ir directo al grano, dice ahí. Uh -huh. Pero que estaba diciendo, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Directo al grano, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y rather the uh -huh. meaning, teacher. Entonces sería. Prefer. Prefer. Uh -huh. Rather uh -huh. is the synonym prefer. Yes, Luis. Edwin. Edwin, ajá. Ah, eh, eh, para una respuesta sería would rather get the strain to be the point on what need to be option or deliver. Uh -huh. Sería una respuesta, ¿verdad? Está bien. Uh -huh. Preferiría conseguir, dire eh, conseguir directo al punto sobre uh -huh. lo que se necesita actuar o entregar. Ajá, exactly. But what answer you are talking about? ¿De qué respuesta estamos hablando ahí, Edwin? De la segunda. De la de, la de true and false. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí, ahí ah. tendríamos que poner si es falso o verdadero, Batich. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pues true number two or is, false. Is true. Me podrían poner ahí dónde está el number two. Ok. True. Uh -huh. It's true. <laughs> it is important to go straight to the point. Uh huh. It's true. Uh -huh. True. Nosotros uh yes, -huh. habíamos puesto. No, it's true or false. <laughs> but it's the same. It's the same. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you have the, the the glossary, the list of words that you don't know, with the definition? Uh, no, only the words. But uh, without definition. Okay. Uh, what you can do is to have a, a synonym. Así como el ejemplo de, de que me preguntó lo urdes. El synonym rather. sería while. El while y también podría estar el rather. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero el rather va acompañado de otra palabrita que es would rather. Would rather. Would rather. Uh -huh. Y junto significa prefer, preferiría. Ajá, como preferiría. Ajá. Mm. Entonces el sinónimo para ese sería would prefer. Mm. Uh -huh. Would prefer. O sea que tenemos que hacer como un glosario. Ajá, pero no es que van a poner en orden de palabritas con la A, palabritas con la B. No va a ir en orden, ¿sí? sino que Ajá. solo quiero que saquemos un vocabulario, un vocabulario para eh, enriquecer nuestra habla. 
okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Después de esto, ¿verdad? Ajá, you can do it after this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more questions? No. No. Yo, yo tengo una question, pero es de la tarea, teacher. <laughs> Tell me, tell me. Tengo, así rápidamente, eh, en, en la parte 3 del, del Mitterrand, del uh -huh. es, las primeras tres preguntas son las mismas que nos hacen en la tarea 6. Uh -huh. Son las mismas respuestas, pero, pero al digitarlas de la igual manera, no son correctas. No, no entiendo por qué no son correctas. No son correctas. No, es, mm. es la misma pregunta del ejercicio de la tarea 6. Ok. Entonces, eh, yo la digité tal cual y no me dan error. No, ok, no dice tiene... que son las preguntas del ejercicio 6, de la tarea 6, ¿verdad? Pero de, de, la, de, de, de la tarea no, 6. Ajá. Eh, son ¿Sí? las mismas de la tarea 6. Ajá. Son tres de, de la tarea 6, se repiten. En el, en, el, en el examen. Uh -huh. Entonces, a responderlas de, la igual, de igual manera. Aún así son. Uh -huh. le, le salen malas, pero cuando tomó sí. la tarea 6, le salieron ahí buenas. Está bien. Sí, ahí salen bien. Ah, ok. Sí, están reportando que hay algunos problemas con la plataforma. Entonces ya tomé nota yo y lo voy a pasar a mi supervisor. Oigan, para ver si sí, pueden teacher, corregir eso. No voy a olvidar de mí, teacher. No, ajá, no, también <risa> ya lo pasamos. Hace falta y no. no, sí, de hecho, el, 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 la supervisora está en el grupo. <risa> Entonces, ah. por eso es que ahí les pongo yo, ¿verdad? Comenten acá. Comenten acá para que de un solo quede con copia para que ellos vean, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que está mal? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Pero sí, sí, igual sí. lo voy a reportar a ver qué, qué me dicen ellos ahí. Ahora, si usted pudiera darles una, una revisadita, sería bueno también, ¿verdad? Para, uh -huh. para que lo comprueben. Ok, sí, vamos a ver si lo hago el, a finalizar la clase. ¿Okay? De acuerdo, para dar una revisada, porque sí, es lo único que me hace falta a mí. Y para terminar todo, pero bueno, ojalá y lo podamos ver al final de la clase. Ok, don't worry, Liz, don't worry. Gracias. Bueno, seguimos, compañero. Ok. Number 3. al whatsapp me mandaron al whatsapp <laughs> ok wait let me check oh you send the answers your classmates will see the answers and they are going to copy <laughs> ok but uh, the glossary the glossary, you have the glossary? Glossary? No. No. What is, what is you that? understand all the words? No. Okay, can no. I help you if you want? Glossary. Mm -hmm. Algunas palabritas, Anayansi, que no se hayan comprendido del reading? Ah, uh, un montón. <laughs> Just tell me. Hay varias, uh, por, por ejemplo, uh -huh. skills, S, K, I, W, L, S, en el segundo uh -huh. párrafo. Ok, a synonym can be abilities, porque no vamos a poner el significado en español, sino que vamos a poner un synonym. ¿Verdad? Una palabra que se le parezca en inglés. Entonces, la que mejor encaja con esta sería abilities. Estamos hablando de habilidades. 
What the name? Welsh. Wills is wild. A synonym can be wild. Wild, como a W H I L E. Will, will, no sé si ya lo han visto. Mientras que. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another word. Straight. Straight. S T R A I G H T. Okay, it's like when you say to the right, derecho, derecho. A uh, synonym can be direct, direct or direct. Un sinónimo puede ser directo, direct. Algunos lo pronuncian como direct. Está correcto. Y otra forma de pronunciation es direct. Que también está correcto. ¿Ok? Direct. Mm -hmm. Another one. Rather. Mm -hmm. En el segundo párrafo. Rather. R A en la final casi. Rather than making the. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Rather. Would rather. Uh, this is about prefer. Prefer. De preferir sería un synonym. Prefer. Would prefer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Another one. Avoid. No, I, I don't know what I mean. Me tocó traducir lo de avoid mis misunderstandings. Uh -huh. Avoid misunderstandings. Evite malos entendidos. Misconceptions. Misconception sería un synonym para misunderstanding. Misconception. Uh -huh. Okay. Like eight or ten words are okay. Ten words minimum. Or eight. Okay. De ocho a diez palabritas mínimo, chicos, en el... En el in the vocabulary que estamos sacando, okay? I'm going to give you two more minutes. Two more minutes and we finish the activity, okay? Big camera. And, and it's true when you when you talk a lot, sometimes don't understand the, the main idea, idea. No. Okay, mm -hmm. it's true. You are like Periquito. <laughs> Periquito, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I am a Periquito teacher, sometimes. <laughs> really? But with your friends, maybe. With my friend, with my co work, <laughs> with your classmates, with my classmates. Okay. okay, so are you about to finish? 
uh, almost no. two more two the the last two the last two ah okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay the, the four is to avoid Uy, misu, Mis misunderstanding <laughs> <laughs> How do you say? Miss misunderstandings. Miss Mis understandings. Oh, okay. Miss understandings. Malos entendidos. ¿Cuál sería uh -huh. un sinonim para misunderstandings? Misconception. Mm. Misconception. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mal malentendido. Misconception. Mm. That word is very long. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. To avoid misunderstanding, uh, one should be very clean in time. Farmers. Okay. Mm -hmm. The paragraph three say. Give time farmers. Do not confuse mother by not begging be specific with your time farmers mm -hmm. and time lines. What you consider as soon might, might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon, it is the next couple of hours. Of hours. Mm -hmm. Yet you start who you have a uh, in interrupted considerate it is to be in a few days the, this communication is going to have a serious implication and Hello, hello. Are we about to finish or not? Claudia, I guess that you are alone, right? Aha, uh -huh, Claudia. Acabo de llegar. Ah, okay. Sí, eh, estuve en varios grupos, pero no, no había nadie. <laughs> okay. So, uh, solo, uh -huh. solo estuve con Oscar, pero luego me, me salí por el internet y llegué a otro, pero no había, no había nadie. Okay, here mm -hmm. is Fidel, but I guess that Fidel is not here. Okay, let me, let me see. I'm going to send you with Oscar again. Join the group and, well, we are about to finish but you will work with them. Let me see, where are you? What group is this? Number four. Yes, it's number four. I'm going to move you to number three. Fidel, are you there? Are you working? Are you paying attention? no como a ah, o cometiste un error entonces hoy eh, lo voy a poner como ejemplo no sé si si me doy a entender ah. uh -huh. mm. bueno. porque con ejemplos sí se ayuda verdad o sea sí se ayuda un montón sí. a, a esclarecer las cosas pero no significa que digamos que lo, los errores de los empleados se van a poner como ejemplo yo yo en lo personal no lo veo bien no lo veo bien que digamos eh, un empleado, por ejemplo, yo me equivoque en el trabajo y después me pongan como ejemplo no, de que mal. no se tiene que hacer. Claro. Siento que es como un poco como humillante para el empleado. Por eso para mí en este caso es false porque sí es bueno dar ejemplos, pero no a costa ah. de los empleados. Ah, okay. Now uh -huh. in English. <laughs> in English are mute. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so you teacher, uh, Yes, tell uh, me. Acronyms. Uh -huh. 
Acronyms are like words that go down. Las palabritas mm. que, que van así, digamos, en forma eh, vertical. Horizontal. Ah, vertical, sí, sí, sí. Ah, vertical. Ajá. Y este, usted forma, por ejemplo... Eh, una oración, una, ¿verdad? Una oración con cada... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con la inicial de cada letra, por ejemplo, uh -huh. usted dice foco y en la primera familia, digamos, con la F de foco, familia, esa cosa. Ah, family, en inglés. No. No, okay, two more minutes. Okay, thank you. For me, the new words. Eh, are a eh, mother, a eh, friends, misunderstanding, a boy. Sí, but I, eh, ya lo tengo. Ah, vaya, entonces sería para Rambo. Mr. Duke. Uh, but, Duke, no. Se me fue. Oh, no voy a escribir. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So we are going to go back to the <laughs> main room. We finished, right? Yeah. I'm ready. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so I'm going to request for one member of each group to share what you have. Some vocabulary that you have. Okay. From uh, Oscar. Oscar, in your group, who is going to pass? Karina, in your group, who is going to pass. And let me see, what is the other group? Lourdes, in your group, who is going to pass? Okay, and with my group, Katy okay. have the, the glossary. Go ahead, Katy. <laughs> hey, thank you, Oscar. <laughs> um, the first word is a uh, razor and a lot of and sufficiently. Mm -hmm. The second uh, is a strain and is direct and right. The uh, another is needs is unnecessarily. Uh, the next is a ramble. When you think a lot about an idea, and finally, dripping is a drip. Excellent. Thank you. I hope that you can memorize these new words, guys. Okay, from Lourdes group, who is going to pass? Edwin. 
Daniel. Daniel okay. Second question. Uh, yes, you are. No, right now we are sharing the vocabulary. The vocabulary ah. we are sharing. Yes. Okay. Is first assume, assumption, mistake, acronym, radar, flowery, matters, frame, deadline, misunderstandings, avoid, evade. Okay, thank you. The same. I hope that you can memorize the new words with the synonyms, okay? And the last group was, let me see who was the last group. Anayansi's group. No. Who was the other group? Karina's group. No, Karina was Karina. with Edwin. Katia. Oh, okay, yes. No. no. Karina. Karina? No. Who was your group? Yeah, Luis, Danis, and Karina. Yeah. And hey, Dolores. 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 Nelson. Dolores? Nelson. And Nelson, Danis, Dolores, and me. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wheels is equal, like you say, while. Yeah. Ripping is very wet. Rumble. It's like a tongue. And rat is too much. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Karina. Now, Lourdes, why you're laughing? <laughs> I see you're laughing. Okay. Lourdes, can you help me with the answers from the exercise? Okay. Let's see this one, true or false? Uh, all, teacher, or, or only from, one? No, from one to three. Okay. Uh, one, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. Is true. Okay. Um, second, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. It's true. Okay. And people will get confused with the direction if we use too many words. It's true. Okay. Thank you. Guys, do you agree? Yes or no? First in the first. In the first one, no. No. What do you have? False. 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 Okay. False. Oscar, what do you have for uh, number one? It's false. False. Okay, Lourdes, let's make that correct. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I am. I have a mistake. Okay. So make the correction, please. Now, Dennis, can you please read four and five and give me the answers? Okay. To a boy. Mm -hmm. Miss. Mrs. Misunderstanding. Miss, one should be very clear in the time frame. Mm -hmm. Is true. Mm -hmm. And number five, it is fine. And the employees make a um, mistake. Later we can show. Example, is mm -hmm. true. True and true. Guys, true do you true. agree? The word is agree or disagree? I agree. You agree. Oscar? Agree? Oscar or Ana Yancy, agree or disagree? Mm -hmm. Yes? Are you there? Okay. Yes, we agree. So um, we are going to have this space right now for you to ask questions about the topics seen during this week. 
Okay, you need to speak tonight or keep silent forever, guys. <laughs> Is there something that you haven't understood? Un tema que no haya quedado comprendido, digamos, de esta semana. ¿Qué temas hemos visto? This week. Give instructions. Uh -huh. Giving and asking uh, instructions and directions. Uh -huh. Yes. What else? Um, the use of allowed. Uh -huh. It's it's not allowed and it's allowed. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. What else? Sure. Ah, should. Should or there is or there are. There is. There is. Ah, there is. Ah, you see, there you is. forgot. Uh -huh. And there are. Should Karina was for the first week. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is. There are questions, right? Okay. So, uh, do you have any question about the topics? for this week? Yes? No? Maybe? No, yes. No? No? Are you sure? No? Claudia? Katia? No questions. Uh -huh. Can you bring me a little bit it's, it's, um, about the, the first topic that Lourdes said? The... What was the topic, Lourdes? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the use of allowed. No. No, the, the, the things. Give ah, give, give instructions. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, uh, over there, let me see. I'm going to share the other, the other. Okay, wait. Give it, that was the last topic, yesterday's topic, right? Yes, no? Yes. No, yesterday was not allowed. Was the the, the, the class Wednesday. number uh -huh, class number eight? I'm checking here. Yes, it's this one. Give me a second. It's this one, class number eight. This one, given instructions, given instructions, yes? Okay, we were talking about this, right? The, the parts of the building company, you know, the production area, the reception area, and all yes. those rooms, right? And in this case, we we saw this that it's that it was about giving directions, dando las direcciones. Porque yes. se nos hacía una pregunta. How do I get there? How do I get there? Como llego ahí? Okay. Then we use turn left, turn right, go straight, and go past, go towards. Mm -hmm. Esas son las, la, cómo usted da la, las direcciones para yeah. que alguien llegue a algún lugar. Ok, and let me see. Uh -huh. These are the rooms in a workplace. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What, what is your question, Karina? Uh, ok, I didn't in this. Ah, you, I did, you weren't. Uh -huh, you I weren't. Didn't. Uh -huh, you weren't here, uh -huh. okay. But so, I... in this case, was vocabulary. Esta clase okay. fue eh, referida, digamos, a vocabulary. So, we also check this. Eh, the safety, the safety instructions. 
unas medidas de, de seguridad que hay que mantener en la empresa en cualquier eh, caso de emergencia, emergency cases. Por ejemplo, eh, number one, locate an evacuation route, stay calm, keep the fire, de no, call the fire department, use the elevator, eh, get back if you forgot the personal object, use any fire extinguisher and follow instructions from the rescue team, get close to the fire and go to the meeting point and lock the doors. Okay, so vocabulary. Fue vocabulario más que todo. Puesto en práctica. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, but you can, you can uh, if, you, if you want, or if you have any other question, you can ask me right now. Yes, because then we only check this, how many areas are in REX facilities. Is there a financial office in these facilities? How many quality control offices are there? And is there an auditor office? Yes. Okay. Yes. We were talking about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that okay. was the, mm -hmm. that was okay. the, the topic. Okay. Another question, guys. Another question. No more questions. I like it when you don't have questions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we continue. Let me see. We are about to finish. Uh, we continue with this. Uh, we are going to practice a little bit of grammar. Okay. Uh, in this case, we are going to fill in the blanks. Uh, this using there is and there are because this class is a review. Ahorita pueden hacer, como ya les dije, todo tipo de preguntas sobre las clases que hemos cubierto durante esta semana. Porque okay. ahora eh, va a ser el delivery del midterm exam. Ok, yes. so I, I, I hope to see only 10. Solo 10 y quiero ver. Ok. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, yes, this is one practice. This is in the book. And also, eh, you are going to work on this on the scramble the words that uh, to create sentences. Yes, you are going to put in order these words, right? right? That's what we are going to do right now. Okay, so we are going to move to the groups and then we are going to share the answers. Okay, let's go. There is and there are, but I, I, I think there are questions. Yes. And is there? Uh-huh. Is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? Yeah. What a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question. Yeah. The second is plural. Are there? Mm -hmm. uh, in this group, it's only uh, three people, right? Danny, Dolores, and Karina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Karina, Danny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And the first is. And now, I think it's personal, personal, or personal. Is there? Are there? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Are there no personal? 
are there? No, no, it's, it's, it's there. Come on. Um, and now, but person, personal, no, es como del, del personal, creo yo. Sí, que dice que sí es suficiente como, personal en tu compañía. Es plural. Ajá. Are there. Are there. Yo creo yeah. que es are porque... Son varios. Son varias personas. Mm -hmm. Yo creo, pero no sé. I think, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, can you repeat that, please? I was passing the attendance list from this group. Uh -huh, tell me. <laughs> okay. The fair... Y we, we are confused. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿en which one? What number? Number three. Um, uh, ah, wait. This is a uh, scramble. Three. Enough personnel at your company. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Is there or are there? Are there. Are there. Is mm -hmm. there. <laughs> Is there as Dolores? Yes, is there. Oh, because, why? yes, Porque because personal. Uh -huh. Personal. personal. Mm -hmm. Yo sé que eso es un plural, ¿va? pero la palabra personal es eh, como well, general, general, yeah. singular. Okay? General oh, okay. singular. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Uh -huh. When I como say co-worker. el it, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Exactly. Es, uh -huh. exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. Uh -huh. exactly. Very good, lo, Dolores. Do, lo good de iba a decir, ya me... <laughs> okay, the, the four are there. Are there. Are there. Yeah. Are there or are they? <laughs> are, there. Are, there. are there. Are there. Are there. Yeah. Okay. Are any paper. Ah, oh, espérenme, espérenme, espérenme. Esto está en la número uno. Questions. Sí. Yeah. Is there Teacher. Ajá. In... Uh -huh. Este, uh, one question. Uh, I confuse with uh, there are and there is. Uh, there are, is... there are, is plural or singular? Yeah, no, no uh, plural. it's plural. No, no, plural. it's uh -huh. no, uh, no, for, for, he, for, for, for eso, no es por eso. Uh -huh. uh, is, uh, in, the, in the printer is correct question. Paper. Paper is plural or is singular? Singular. Singular. Okay. So what is my question for? Is there or are there? Um is is there? Is there? Is there any paper in the printer? Okay. Uh, is, okay, is Um, si, fuera, si fuera plural sería papers o como ajá papers Pelis. with s uh -huh. papers. ok But this no, is it, 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 mi, 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 mi confusión es entre any como ayer me estaba mencionando o antes no recuerdo qué día fue eh, para is, eh, there is o is there is only any o también any se usa con there are Are there? Eh, ok, any, any lo vamos a usar en la question form y lo vamos a usar en la forma negativa. Ok, aquí, si se fija como son preguntas, ma, estamos usando uh -huh. any. Number one, is there any paper in the printer? In number two, we have any and computers. That is plural. Ok, yeah. but you use it in questions. Now, if you want to use any in the answers, It should be negative. You can say, there aren't any students in the class. Okay? Ninguno. There aren't any students in the class. In, in negative there is, isn't, is ninguno. There no, isn't, no. Uh -huh, in negative is ninguno. There isn't no, no. any paper in the printer. Okay? No hay ninguno. Se usa para preguntas, en preguntas, y se va a usar en respuestas, pero negativas. En pregunta vendría siendo, ¿hay algún papel ¿Algún? en la impresora? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces en pregunta es algún yes. y en negativo es ninguno. Uh -huh. 
En este caso es salud. Ok. Ajá, porque es pregunta. Correcto. There is any paper in the printer. Uh -huh. ¿Hay algún papel en la impresora? Eh, the second is, are there any computers available? Are there? Uh -huh. Porque dice computers. Ajá, uh -huh. are there? Any computers eh, available? No. Hi. Are there not? Sería. Any. No. It's questions. Only questions here. No answers. Only questions. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Y solo sería: Are, are there, there or any? Is there? Uh -huh. Are there? Is there? No. Why are there? Because it's plural in computers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. No, it's plural, Luis. Computers. Plural. Computers. Computers is the subject. It's plural. Okay. Oh, Many yes. computers. Uh -huh. I can see the S. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Computers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there? Number three. Enough personnel at your company. Mm -hmm. okay. Green children. No. The correct is if is not a lawyer, cream to children. Uh, children. I know it. Uh, but falta la ir. It is not a lawyer. A lawyer in breed children, ¿verdad? No. I cannot start. It is not a lawyer. It is not. Green children. It is not a law in bring children. Bring in children. Bring in children. What's the color? Bring in children. Not a law in children. Yeah, number three. I think it's it. Is, it you not allow to wear informal clothes and sentence or question. Mm. Is it, are you? Is not. No. Uh, ah, mm -hmm. you are not. You are uh -huh. not allowed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I forget. I just forgot. Okay. You are not. You are not allowed. Allowed. Informal clothes to wear. You are not allowed to wear. Uh, to no, tiene que ir antes. Ajá. You mm -hmm. are not allowed to uh -huh. wear, to wear, de usar, to wear mm -hmm. informal. Clothes, inform, informal clothes. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Informal. Informal clothes. Clothes, ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The second is... Employers are not allowed to smoke. Sí, ¿verdad? Esa está en la plataforma. <risa> <risa> me suena, es que me ha dado duro con, en la plataforma, me estaba dando duro con un. <risa> smoke. Mm. Sí, Employees are not allowed to smoke. Mm -hmm. To smoke. Mm -hmm. To smoke. Okay. This there. Chill. Children <clears throat> is not allowed mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yes. no. it is not allowed Pero el tú dónde está Ay no Ahí sí ya me trabé no, pero es que aquí el sujeto es el niño. Yeah. Ah, entonces este. Children is not allowed in brain. It, ah, pero el it hace falta. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's not, not correct. No correct. No. You, you start with it is. It, it is. It is. It is not allowed. Breaking children. Uh -huh. In. Bring in children. Bring in children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is not allowed. Bring in children. But I don't. ¿Cómo es? Terminamos. We finish. You finish. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. We're about to start. Oh, ah. lunch out. Oh, lunch out. Falta low. Oh. Eh, no, sería. We are not allowed eh, to stand oh, our, our lunch time. Our lunch time. Ajá, our lunch time. Porque es nuestro tiempo de almuerzo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, eh, are we finished, guys? Only only one sentence. Okay. People are people are, people are not allowed. Uh -huh, allowed to check. Checking. To checking, uh -huh, Late. Okay, there you got it. To check. Checking. Check checking. in. Checking. Uh -huh. in. Checking uh -huh. late. Second late.
Okay, guys. Um, let's share the answers for the exercises. Let's see. Um, Lourdes, can you help me from one to three, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, the first exercise, right? Yes. Is there any paper in the printer? Second, are there any computers available? And three, are there enough personnel at your company? Okay. Are there? Are there? <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Remember, I, I I don't know if it, it was in your group that comment, but in this case, personal, it's singular. You say, is, is there? Is there enough personal? Okay. Because personal uh, has the role of the subject it in the sentence, in the question. Because oh, okay. it's general, general, no specific. When it's general, is uh, in singular. singular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, Dolores, can you help me from four to seven? Number four. Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Number five. Is there much light in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Number six, are there many things to do every day? Mm -hmm. And number seven, are there good place to have a break? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Those are the questions. So, Nelson, can you help me from one to three, please? Nelson. I'm sorry, teacher. Mm, no las tengo. Porque no? entré tarde en grupo. No, no estaba en grupo. No, cuando entré ya estaban terminando. Ah, ok. So, let's okay. see. Ok, ya no sí, pero, ah, pero una pregunta antes de, de esto. En, la, en el ejercicio 1, que no era que íbamos a poner there is o there are. Eh, no, es questions. Si se fijan, está en forma del question, por el question mark. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. <ríe> no vimos los signos de interrogación. <ríe> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, Ana Yancy, go ahead from one to three. Okay. Uh, you are not a lawyer to wear informal clothes. Okay. Number two. Number two. Are not a lawyer to employer employer smoking. Mm, empezaríamos con employees. Employees are not allowed. Okay. Employees are not allowed to smoke. A smoke. Okay. And number three. Um, it is not allowed in bring children. Okay. Allowed. The pronunciation and I is allowed. 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 Okay. Allowed. Thank you, Anais. Okay. Thank you. Katia, can you help me with number four and five, please? Number four, we are not allowed to stand or lunch time. Mm -hmm. And number five, people are not allowed to late check in. No, check in to check in late. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So uh, look at this. We are going to go to the last practice of the week. Nos vamos a ir para la última práctica de la semana. Eh, por lo que he notado en los grupos, ahora sí, miren, los felicito. 
Todos tienen la cámara encendida, tienen el micrófono encendido, están platicando en lo que deben de estar platicando y lo están haciendo bien, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, nos vamos para esa última eh, speaking practice. Speaking practice. Don't, don't write anything. Maybe you can take a screenshot. And in this speaking practice, you pay attention to the picture and then you discuss in your group if the sentences are true or false. For example, number one, this is a party. Is true or it's false? It's true. It's true, right? Because yeah. uh, there are balloons, there are children playing, there are uh, there is food, okay? Yeah. They look happy, okay? So you continue from 2 to 20 discussing the sentences, true or false. Then okay. we are going to the last practice that is how do I get to? Remember giving instructions, giving directions. So in this case, uh, look, student A ask students B for directions to the places below and mark the locations on the map. Supposedly you are here. Look, this is you. Yeah. So in the group, you ask the question, how do I get to uh, number one, the swimming pool? And maybe in my group is Oscar and Katia. So I ask Oscar, how do I get to the swimming pool? And he gives me the, the direction, Swim, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Is that clear? Yes? Okay, so I don't know if you can take an screenshot <laughs> of this. No, I, I know watching the swimming pool. Uh -huh. mm. Swimming pool? Uh -huh. Yes. No lo veo en el mapa. You don't see the map. Maybe it's in Noisy's hotel. Excuse me? Maybe it's in Noisy's hotel. Uh -huh. Okay. Es que no está, no está en el mapa swimming pool. Okay. Entonces, eso me van a decir. The teacher, there is no swimming pool in the map. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Sorry. The uh -huh. pool is, is the um, Okay. So, do you understand what you are supposed to do? Yes? Okay. So yes. did you did you take a screenshot of this activity number one and number two? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Number two, no teacher. Okay, we have only twenty minutes to finish this. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's true. Yes, there is a party. There are seven children. It's true. Yeah. Seven yeah. children. One, yeah. two, three. Four, five. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, true. there it's are true. seven children. It's true. It's true. And two is one ball is green? Yes, it's true. True. So true, true. <laughs> Four 
is two, two children. children are singing. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm, the woman has got a biscuit. Biscuit is cake. Biscuit. biscuit. Mm -hmm. Something it, like it, cake. Ah, uh, okay. It's true. It's true. Okay. It, it is it's half past two. It is half past two. No veo el reloj. I don't see a, a clock. Ah, vamos a ver, ya lo vi. Está Ay, arriba, está. arriba. ¿A clock or a watch? A watch. What is the difference between clock and watch? Watch is pulsar and hand. Yes. And clock watch. is watch. Correct. Y clock uh, is the table. The table or the wall? Oh, uh, or mm -hmm. the wall. Yeah. Uh, y... ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es the watch? Perdón. <laughs> watch es el reloj que usa en, la, en el puño. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Y el, el clock es el que está en la pared o en la mesa. Hmm. Es the clock. Okay. Is, Where is, is the clock? Uh, Arriba is del... upper uh, the, the woman? Ah, yes. But the time half past two. Half past two. Uh, no. Yes, is is true. No. Yo más chiquita la aguja de abajo. Que tiene. Es como que fueran las seis y diez. Veo más grande la aguja de de arriba. <risa> <risa> Quizás escena. Es que tiene. <risa> Es la ve más grande, dice. ¿Ah? La ve más yo, grande. Yo la, la veo igual. Eh. Ah, yo también la veo igual. Yo por veo eso, más grande la de arriba. Por, por eso digo que son. Eh, las dos y media. Ajá, exacto. Bueno, dejémoslo así porque esa cabal como que fuera la posición así. Ajá. Yo veo como las dos y veintiocho. Ah, como que. <risa> Para ser exacto, 228. <risa> Vaya, quiero okay. ver. 7. Eh, ¿False o true? True. 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 Yo lo veo un poco falso, uh -huh. pero dejémoslo true. <risa> The baby is smiling. Is false. No. Yes. No, no, eh, the, the baby is, is eh, under the table. No, baby is, eh, bueno, para mí. <laughs> bueno, sí, el bebé, bebé. Yes. Ah, eh. Bueno, es que si de lejos se ve las dos y media. ¿va? <laughs> ya más cerca, no, no, but no is, no, no is half on point. On clock. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues es false. It's false. The baby is smiling. smiling. No. There is a dog next to the baby. Yes, yes. true. Mm -hmm. the, man, the man is waving. 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 What is waving? No. It's false. Yes, it's a blouse. He is sleeping. False. Okay, and there is a boy under the table. Como hola, pero con N. Wow. There is a boy under the table. Yes. Wow. Are two. 
Ah, yes. Yeah. 16. The number 16 is there is a blue base on the shelf. Blue base. What is base what is on the shelf? Hay un jarrón azul en el instante, dice. Exactly. Ah. Is yellow. It's false. It's yellow. Ah, it's yellow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is fault? Okay. Number 17. There yeah, is a bottle. Uh -huh. It's fault. It's soda. <laughs> of what? Ah. Uh. Okay. Ah, it's true. Uh -huh. It's false. Yeah. It's false, but... Yes. False. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mean? Yes. It's wearing some black letters. Black, 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 uh, black glasses. glasses. El hombre está, el hombre está es, haciendo algo de gafas negras. Gafas algo así. Uh, usa. Usa. Wearing. Usar. Wearing. Uh -huh. Wearing. Pero son ah. en algunos. Ah, no. Está eh, algo, sí, dice. algunas. No, es que dice. Está planteando. No, 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 pero dice de men. Usa. Pero ahí, lo que está diciendo uh, es que si utiliza gafas negras. Uh -huh. Yo no veo. Uh -huh. No le veo el color. Oh, son de botella. <risa> <risa> es bolso. Ya solo la veo, teacher, me van a decir. Uh -huh. <risa> es bolso. Yo, yo he perdido mis lentes. Tengo que <risa> Uh -huh. Yo creo que sí. Es true. true. Ustedes qué dicen? Yo, yo la veo negras. Es que son negras con la transparencia, ah, pues, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh, pues sí. True. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. There is a radio. Yes. Yes. Is is true. Okay. And the last one is the dog is barking. What is barking? Yes. Ladrar, creo que es. Ladrando. Ah, ladrando. Is true. Yeah. Está platicando. There is a radio. There is a radio. Yes, there are. On the piano. And the dog is barking. Yes. Glasses. Yes. No. The man is wearing. Guess wearing. Guys, we only Lle have llevar. five minutes. Five minutes, and we finish. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Entonces, ¿es false o true? Es true. Yo veo de... O el answer, o el answer, it is not there. The internet coffee is not there. The school, the school is not there. Is not, not there. there. <laughs> the book shop. The book shop. The book shop. Mm -mm. Book no. Book no. Shop, right? No. You just no. The hospital. The hospital. The hospital. The hospital. No. no. Okay. The neck no there. The pool. No. Shop. Hospital. No hay nada. No hay nada. You lose. They are gay lady. Bye. The rest don't want doesn't want to come, right? <laughs> okay, we are here. About to finish, guys. But before tell me, tell me your comments. How do you feel this activity? How do you feel this activity? Was good, but so so. The first is very good, but the second, very confused. Confused, okay. Yes. Okay. What about you, Dennis? Dennis, what do you think about the activities? Is it, it is, difficult? Mm, medium, medium. Okay. Mm. So, so. Yeah. Okay, and Lourdes, your comments on the speaking activities? Um, for the first activity was very... Um, easy. Easy, easy. And the second was very confused. Okay, why was confused? Yeah, yes, the second. Why? Because the places are not in the map. Okay. And you you put in the in the map. Okay. Yes, that was the idea. For you to use there is there is no a swimming pool. There is no a post office. Okay. That was the intention. Okay. So thank you guys. We are coming uh, to an end, but before you go, I want to make sure that every one of you take the midterm exam and do the homework, okay? Always do the homework and complete the exam because tomorrow I need to send your grades to my supervisor, okay? okay. And right now I'm going to pass the attendance list for the last time, okay? Alfonso. Not here, teacher. Okay, Ana Yancy. <laughs> Present teacher. Cesar. Danis. Present. Eh, Dolores. Present. Edwin. Present, teacher. 
Fidel. Karina. Present. Katia. Present. Lourdes. Present. Luis. Present. Nelson. Eh, Oscar. Present. Okay, guys. So, no. thank you so teacher. much. Yes, tell me. Teacher. Claudia, teacher. Claudia, Claudia. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Claudia Lorena. <laughs> sorry, Claudia, sorry. Okay. So, thank you guys for being here tonight. I'll see you on Monday. Be good girls and good boys, okay? Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night, good teacher. Night, good night. All the time. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you. Okay, Karina, are you ready for the tonight's uh, questions that you have for me? Karina, are you there? Teacher, I forget. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So Okay, Karina, tell me. I'm here. Okay. Uh, I don't have a question, really. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know. I would like to, to talk. Okay, let's yeah. talk. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Karina. Okay. Um, I am... Uh, I work in... Uh, in poor department, mm -hmm. in, in my work, I need to check in some documents about import, like an uh, invoice, uh, bill, bill of lending, uh, air weight, mm -hmm. or document of transportation for mer merchandising. Okay. okay. Wait, Fidel, I'll see you on Monday. If you are here, Please, uh, I'll see you on Monday. All right. Uh, so, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Okay, my free time, I like to do a sport and watch it series. Mm -hmm. What kind of series do you like? I like, well, now I didn't see because uh, it's not in Netflix. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I like uh, Pretty Little Liars. Uh -huh. um, and the Casa de Papel. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Vampire Diaries. Okay. So you those are like science fiction series, no? Yeah, I like uh, uh -huh. the science fiction and, uh -huh, and science fiction. Okay, uh -huh. so you watch the movie uh, Twilight, I guess that is the name. Yes. Twilight. One, two, three, Desire. four, and five. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> very good. So you, do you believe in vampires? Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, I, I like, but I uh -huh. think that it's not true. <laughs> okay. What about the aliens? Do you believe in aliens? Mm, that is mm, is possible because I think I think mm -hmm. uh, the universe is is biggest. Mm -hmm. But I think if it is possible, but uh, no complete true because I think they live really far. <laughs> Okay, but Plus. what happens? What happens if the aliens live here in the in the earth with us? Uh, Imagine that they are like us. 
I hope they 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 are um, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So um, I recommend you to read the the diary of Richard Richard Kleinman. I guess that that is the last name. In that diary, he comments that he was with aliens in the Antarctic. And the people that he saw there was were very similar to the humans. You know, they were tall, blonde, uh, blue eyes. Imagine, so they were like supposedly beautiful, like humans. Uh -huh. like humans. Uh, so that is crazy. Who knows? But do you believe also in the wolves? I guess because in the Twilight Saga. Uh -huh. You have Jacob and you have the other the other boy. I don't Robert. Yes, is that the uh -huh. name? Robert Pattinson yes. is the name Robert of the actor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So do you believe that men can become ghosts? Mm. <laughs> I think that is a fiction. Just okay. fiction. Just fiction. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. But All it's right. interesting how the the writing. Mm -hmm. The writing, uh, thinking about it, <laughs> that possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and my favorite movie is is uh, the Harry Potter. Ah, you like that? The magicians. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I like the the the, the history, like the Rose Kelly writing mm -hmm. the first book. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, she she wrote in during a travel mm -hmm. on train okay and they are sit down for many hours and they thinking oh no 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 the train was broken and okay. and she needs to stay 14 hours to to start again the travel was here okay Okay, that, that is good. And and tell me, what is your favorite kind of music? Um, I don't have favorite. No? I like a mix. I, I like mix. Uh, for example, I like the Selena Quintanilla because my mm -hmm. mom loves her. Okay. okay. <laughs> I remember all the time I, I singing, I dancing. When okay. I was, I, I like it. Como la flor, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That is a good one. And, and in English, you don't listen to music in English. Mm, so, so. I like pop music, like mm -hmm. Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, like mm -hmm. a romantic. Okay. Because are more easy that I understand. But mm -hmm. I think, uh, to me, it's so difficult understanding English. Why? No, because <laughs> you need you need to put you know the, the lyrics on the screen. You need to put the lyrics, and you need mm -hmm. to be listening to the singer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that can be a good uh, option. Mm -hmm. That can be I a good will, option. I will I will do that. Mm -hmm. I just use uh subtitles uh -huh. in a series. Sometimes when I I watch in, in English, mm -hmm. basically I try to watch. <laughs> okay, but at least you are doing a try. Uh, okay, and and tell me, do you have pets? Yes, I have a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What kind of animals do you have? Because uh, we have uh, three dogs, mm -hmm. but. Two are really small, and one is a little bigger. Okay. Uh, uh, Lassie is 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 a dog that we have um, since she was a child, uh, a baby, a, a puppy. baby, uh -huh, a puppy, uh -huh. a puppy. But the others uh, are from. Sonsonate because my grandpas now live, live with us. Mm -hmm. About the pandemic, they move with us. Mm -hmm. And they give, o sea, they trajeron. They brought? 
they broke their dogs. Okay. Okay. That's my okay. kind and dog. <laughs> okay. And my my little brother has three three no four parents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Two periquitos <laughs> two <parents>. and two <laughs> ca canarios. Uh -huh. Canarios. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, he loves the animals. And my other brother has three turtles. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh -huh. You have a zoo in your house? Yes, my mom says we are zoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Karina. It's nice to know more about you, but because of the time, we are going to stop here, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you so much, Thank and you. I will see you on Monday, okay? Yes. Okay. okay, have a good weekend. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye.